right, let's look at the storm that we've been talking about through the whole weekend. A big focus, we mentioned the rain, we mentioned hints of snow. We're going to keep snow in the mountains mainly, but snow levels do drop. Let's play a game. How low can we go? Yeah, we're talking about snow levels where the front hits tonight. We see showers tomorrow as snow levels will be dropping, moving into Monday overnight. We keep it yeah, well above the benches and the valleys as well. As it continues on Monday by the lunch hour, we're close to 6,000 feet. Looks like overnight, looks like it recedes just a little bit by Tuesday in about midnight. It's close to the benches, but it looks like we're going to avoid the valleys. And for most benches, we won't see much activity. Might see a mixture of rain and snow. Extreme northern Utah, you might see also a mixture of rain and snow. But this storm not doing the trick of bringing snow back into the valleys, which of course, across northern Utah, as we move into April and May, we can still see that possibility but not from this storm. We will see a big temperature drop though, where we're starting to see temperatures drop here along the Wasatch Front, mainly Ogden northward, even seeing a little bit of a temperature uh, dip there in Salt Lake City, currently at 60 degrees with winds out of the northwest. Yeah, with that wind direction beginning to change as we move along the Wasatch Front, not yet in Utah County. Now with this storm, Here's what we're looking at. The confidence was the storm. We know we're going to see that temperature dip for most locations by about 20 degrees. Yeah, wind impact. We saw it today. Winds behind the front could be strong briefly, and then the wind should die off as we move into tomorrow afternoon. Precipitation statewide, we're going to get it. Mainly rain, snow in the mountains. We talked about all the watches and warnings in effect as we look there in pink and seeing that light tan. That's the wind. The purple, though, winter storm advisories, which will be in effect especially tonight up until tomorrow evening where we're focusing on the mountains. Snow accumulations for those northern mountains. For most locations, it's kind of a 5 to a 10 inch range, but for some areas like up at the Big Cottonwood Canyons, you, uh, western Uinta Mountains, we potentially could see a foot to a foot and a half of snow from the storm. Starting to pump in the moisture right now, mainly clouds. You're seeing some green from radar. It's light green, so not much hitting the ground. That front really where we're seeing the frontal band of precipitation still on in the distance it pushes through tonight and really gets here as we look towards tomorrow morning so let's go through the computer models with the focus of when we're going to see the shower activity moving the clock tonight through early monday morning it starts to line up i mentioned for your monday morning commute if you can get an early start I would definitely recommend that because towards the middle tail end of the morning commute, the showers start tracking in and again, it's the rain and it could be heavy at times, which means we've got standing water moving through about the noon hour showers begin to impact central and then in the afternoon, southern Utah, as we'll start to see temperatures drop and then that rain turning into snow over the mountains across southern Utah, even Cedar City might see some brief snowflakes as well. And then the storm beginning to move eastward on Tuesday, even though we'll see some scattered rain showers across northern Utah potentially Tuesday morning. Now for tonight, might see some sprinkles. Again, the heavy showers don't get going until tomorrow morning, lingering on until the early afternoon and then getting hit overnight Monday through Tuesday. Southern Utah, you'll start to see the showers as we move into the afternoon hours. So you get hit with rain in St. George, maybe some scattered showers on Tuesday, then high pressure builds in, heats up into the low to mid 90s by the end of the week. Northern Utah, the rain for tomorrow, 100% chance you're getting it Tuesday, 30% chance. Then it's just sunny skies and warmer temperatures were into the 80s with a weak storm towards next week Sunday.